But a way that I can make this more advanced is by using parameters. We want to think about our function as a black box. And what I mean by that is that you shouldn't have to worry about what's happening inside the function, what code is in there, what it, how it works. You shouldn't have to worry about any of that stuff. All you should have to know about a function is what you put into it and what it does. Okay, it's like print. We don't sit around thinking about how does print really work? How does it get those characters on the screen? No, we just know what it does. It prints something. And when we call it, we give it an argument that tells it what to print. And we just trust that it's going to work. We know what print does. We know how it works. We don't worry about why it works or what's inside or all of those things because it just works. And that's, that's what a good function should do. That's what makes you able to reuse them across different programs. So if I have a, a function called show menu and I give it a parameter called string message, what that means is this variable is now available inside and only inside this function. If I have another variable somewhere else in my program called str message, those two won't conflict with each other. They won't ever touch because this, this only lives inside the function. What happens inside the function stays inside the function. It's sort of like Vegas, okay? So you want to think about what you want to use in here, and it allows me to pass data from the outside that then gets used inside the function. So this str message now gets embedded, whatever I give it, it's sort of like an advanced print, right? It's a print that prints a whole menu instead of just one line of code. So if I take that and we bring it in here, okay, so I have the message here. And then so that what that means is when I call that function using happy birthday, happy birthday is passed into that parameter slot and then it becomes a variable inside that function that, that I can then use. So what I print here will be whatever that message is. And the thing that makes this powerful is that now I can reuse that function with different pieces of data. Okay, so every time I pass it a message, it puts that message in. Now, if I try to call that function with no argument supplied for that parameter, you'll see it highlights that parenthesis because it's going to be looking for that required parameter or the required argument, okay? So when we use parameters, we can do all sorts of things with them. And also, you're not limited to just one parameter. I could have, if I wanted to print that message three times or something like that, I could, I could yeah, I would do an int there. So I would, um, I could give it more, more than one parameter. 